welcome to our lecture on the adverse effects and the contraindications of cholinergic agonists. At the end of this lecture, students will be able to have an understanding of the adverse effects and contraindications of cholinergic agonists. Phenomimetic hyperactivity may result in cholinergic crisis. This is the same signs and symptoms seen with cholinesterase inhibitor poisoning. The signs and symptoms of cholinomimetic hyperactivity include decrease in blood pressure. In terms of the GIT, there is abdominal cramps, diarrhea and vomiting, blurred vision, pallor, and twitching of the facial muscles. This uh, signs can be uh, reversed by the administration of the uh, anticholinergic drug atropine. Cholinomimetic muscarinic agonist exert side effects remembered by the mnemonic sludge. So this stands for salivation, lacrimation, urination, defecation or diarrhea, and gastric emptying. So these uh, signs now are the same with the effects of the parasympathetic nervous system. The adverse effects of the cholinomimetic agents can also be remembered as triple B, as bradycardia, bronchoconstriction, and bronchorrhea. So when we say bronchorrhea, that is an excess mucus discharge. Also remember the cholinergic adverse effects with another mnemonic, and that is the dumbbells. And this stands for diarrhea, urination, meiosis, and muscle weakness, bronchorrhea, bradycardia, emesis, lacrimation, and salivation and sweating. The side effects of the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, the most common of this is diarrhea. We also have the AV block, bradycardia, seizures, and the GI bleeding. Or the contraindication. So when we say contraindication, that is a specific situation in which a drug should not be used because it may be harmful to the animal. So for the contraindications of the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, uh, this include the presence of the cardiac conduction defects. We also have the presence of asthma or COPD, urinary tract obstruction, seizure history or risk, and the presence of the GI bleeding history or risk.